Today's video is really about just trying to take advantage, take advantage of what may be my last sunrise shoot for a little while. Uh, but hopefully we might be seeing some sunsets coming up in the not too distant future. Uh, taking advantage of whatever I find. And uh, it may also be a little bit about some technical challenges. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm out on the local sort of pebbly beach area just up from where I live, trying to take advantage of a sunrise. We've got a bit of a, a waiting game going on right now in this part of Spain because the state of alarm ends on Sunday. Today is the Friday the 7th of May. The state of alarm ends on Sunday the 9th of May. Um, we don't yet know what that means. The Valencian community is pushing to maintain the night curfew but they have to get approval from the Supreme Court to do that, and we don't know if they're gonna get that approval or not. So it could be that from next week, the curfew is gone, but what's much more likely is the curfew will remain, but with a later start time, maybe 11 p.m. or midnight. So that could open up the possibility for me to do more sunset shoots, um, but it's not gonna help for sunrises because at the moment, sunrise is five to seven, curfew ends at 6 a.m. so it's really difficult to get anywhere interesting for sunrise. So I wanted to take the advantage today or take the opportunity today to do a sunrise shoot and I've actually got a composition set up here in front of me which I'll talk you through in a second. But first when I was walking up here I spotted an opportunity and I just had to take it which of course delayed me <laughs> getting up to my intended location. But let's go back and have a look at that now. I was just actually walking up here and I spotted this. We've got the monument of the fisherman and a crescent moon sitting over the top. So I want to try and get a composition with the moon sitting directly above it. It's going to be tricky because I'm going to have to take two exposures. One for the monument to get a bit of detail in it and then one much lower, uh, shorter exposure to get detail in the crescent moon, hopefully. doing one shot at two and a half seconds f5.6 for the moon hopefully that will get enough detail in there and then another one at 30 seconds also f5.6 for the monument i'm hoping i've got the focus right because it's difficult to see because it's still pretty dark Okay, I'm hoping that scene's worked out well because it, it looked quite interesting. I'm having a bit of a challenge with my GoPro at the moment. It keeps playing up. Sometimes the sound doesn't work properly on it. Sometimes it won't connect uh, wirelessly to the gimbal. Sometimes it won't turn on wirelessly. I don't know. I've got a feeling I might have to be replacing it. So I'm choosing to keep quite low down and using a rock pool, which has kind of got a, a sense of perspective to it to lead into the frame. The, the rock pool kind of provides a lead in through over to the glow in the background with the mountain. Uh, it's quite a high contrast scene. So I'm gonna do two exposures, one, about 10 seconds to make sure I've got plenty of shadow detail. That's of course blowing the highlights out completely. So now we'll pull all the way back until about Two seconds, 
to the sky. And that's giving me all the detail I need in the sky. I was having problems with shooting video. My GoPro didn't want to turn on. I'd been fighting with it for about 10 minutes. And when it did eventually turn on and start recording, I kind of panicked a little bit and rushed around trying to find the composition that I could shoot. And in all honesty, I don't think this is a particularly great composition and definitely not a particularly great image, but I'll show it to you anyway. Okay, there's a scene in front of me that I think might work. I put the long lens on, which is a 55 to 200, which, because this is a 1.6 crop camera, means I can get the full frame equivalent field of view of 320 mil at the long end. And I'm basically looking straight across, and I'll try and show you the scene, straight across there, right out in the distance, there's a layer of sort of haze and uh, maybe mist sitting around the Sierra Lada and uh, the city towers of part of Benidorm. So I'm doing a shot of that. Now, to be honest, even 320 mil <laughs> isn't enough to get it in as much as I would like. But it might work as a kind of a almost soft, abstracty type image so keeping the exposure pretty high I'll go for about half a second and then maybe with you know a, maybe a two by one two to one crop that might look quite interesting I'm doing another shot looking across again way out 200 mil just basically having the Sierra Alada mountains uh, with a bit of sea in the foreground and that kind of hazy mist around them it's quite abstract and soft so uh, hoping it will work okay so we're looking at something like it's about an eighth of a second exposure uh, focused on the mountains as best I can, which it's difficult to do in the haze there. But again, this will be a 16 by 9 or 2 to 1 crop. Blowing a little bit of sky out at the top there, but that's not going to be in the scene anyway. Yeah, it might look quite nice. And at the moment, I'm just waiting for the sun to come up, which will come up on the right, just out of the right of the frame on this. Um, and there might actually be an image with the sun coming up next to the Sierra, Sierra Lada. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens when it comes up. Okay, so the sun is coming up now, and what I'm doing, I'm putting the Sierra Lada on the left-hand side of the frame, with the sun coming up on, over on the right-hand side. Again, it's going to need to be probably a 16 by 9 or 2 to 1 crop to work. About 1 30th of a second. That F11. Okay, 
Okay, the sun is well up now. Uh, because there's no cloud, it's very, very harsh light. And uh, this particular scene has got nothing much to offer in terms of uh, shots that I can do post sunrise. Plus, there's loads of mosquitoes or something flying around here. And uh, I think I wanna head for home. <laughs> Hopefully this video is going to work out okay if the GoPro hasn't misbehaved too badly. If it's worked out okay, and if you see it, and if you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it on social media, leave me a comment. And if you're new here and you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.